well uh, friends in my previous posts i have uh, told you or i have uh, discussed you uh, discussed with you about uh, the way inter process communication happens through a simple pipe i mean uh, we used a pipe system call which created a pipe in between the parent process as well as the child process and then it was used for the communication and then i also had a post where i demonstrated the usage of a named pipe which is also one of the inter process communication mechanisms now it goes to the level where uh, we really need to understand how a message queue works because message queue is one of the most predominant and most frequently used inter process communication mechanisms before i i explain you the code before i show you the demo of how it works it is uh, better to explain you the flow of the code because you need to write code theoretical approach is very simple uh, what is a queue a queue is something where i can write the data it will be going in the buffer and somebody who wants to read it can come uh, come there and read the data i can keep pushing the data from one end i can keep reading the data from other end that's all that's that's exactly what a queue is all about but uh, what are all the steps that are uh, here that's what i'm going to explain you now as a part of the code now you see that a queue will definitely have a sender as well as a receiver that is mandatory we know that we have a sender and receiver the receiver cannot receive until the sender sends or the sender cannot send until the receiver is ready to receive uh, we have two process for example the first process will send the message and the second process can receive the message that's it and before you send a data you need to tell the receiver that i am sending the data of type a b c something like that and the receiver also has to be ready to receive the data of type a b c for example here we set it as one the one is the type of the data that i am going to send from one end to the receiver end we have three different system calls that are to be used towards constructing a queue the first one is message send the second one is message receive and the third one is message control message send will initialize the queue message receive will be helpful in uh, receiving the messages that are being sent message control will be for administrative privileges to delete the queue etc we can use it now before i uh, go deeper into the code there is another thing that we need to know when we uh, when we have a house we will have a door and we will have a lock the lock is nothing but a safety purpose thing so we have a key to open the lock similarly when you have a queue it is advisable to have a key a key is nothing but a number or something that can help the receiver in identifying that this is the message that has been sent by this person and you need a key like this to open the particular door so we need to generate the key so generation of the key can happen uh, through f2k that is a system call again which is called a file to key just remember this we have something called file to key now regarding the header files it is nothing you can just go to man page and type message send msg send you will definitely get the guidance towards using which header files appropriately for this purpose now you come into the main code we have something called as a structure here as i have highlighted we have named the structure called message buff and inside the structure i have two parameters one is m type which i told you earlier i need to set the type of the message that i am going to send and here we select it as one which i will set it later in the code and second the length of the text i am going to send maximum 200 characters so i have set it here now i have got a structure this structure is very simple where i have two components the first component is to set the type of the message the second component is to tell you how much characters or how many characters you are going to send across to the receiver now i come to the main code i create an instance of the structure called msg and now i have something called as message id we will use both of this later so put it on hold as of now and we have something called as key underscore t that's the key we have a key here this key is of the type key underscore t and every queue must have a type and this key underscore t is defined in the system call called message send i told you we have a system call called as message send here this message send has got the complete definition of key underscore t so i need a key for my queue how will i create a queue um, we have three different steps the first step is what i have highlighted now first create a key that's the first step how do i create it key is equal to f2k file to key with the name of the file it can be any file name but the file has to be available there here i use the same file name 3 underscore message send is the name of the file that i have here i use the same file for getting the key generator and this is a parameter you can give a b c anything 
if this is minus 1 that means that the key is not generated and we will need to get the error reason and that's through p error okay so this is the first step i have generated the key the key can be generated through a file this can be c file this can be a dot text file this needs to be a file that's all we are generating a key for a particular file and the same file name will be shared at the receiver end to again regenerate the key to see if both of them can communicate this is a validity part now come to the second part i need to just generate the message id the next step is very simple i need to generate the message id message id can be generated with the system call called message get and here we need to understand one thing the key is generated first and then the generated key will be used to the next level this message id is generated next the generated message id will be used in the next level likewise we will keep using the previous levels output in the current levels input so if you miss one of the levels in between it is going to be taxing for us so we cannot use it so i have got message get system call here message get and i use key as a parameter i use 0644 which is for read write permission for the owner uh, read permission for the group read permission for others you can make it 777 also does not matter and i create it for the first time in that case i use ipc underscore create if it is already available i'll open it with this permission if this fails the message id would not be generated and now assuming that the message id will be generated because i know the code is right we will go to the next step the first step is to generate the key i have generated the key the second step is to use the key to generate uh, message id i have generated it i am just printing the message id here this is just to um, tell you that the message id has been generated now here you can see message dot message type is equal to 1 what is message type you can see that that's an instance of the that's that's one of the parameters of the structure that we have so message type is one here so i have set it as one that means that the message type is agreed as one for the sender and the receiver now i can start getting the message from the user when i run the code i am getting the message from the user using gets and it will be obtained until the 200 characters is over now i have obtained the message now i need to send it across so how do i send it i use a message send what is the id that i use i have a message id i need to pass address of the message which is nothing but a, a parameter for the structure and then i need to give size of as an argument and this will be now sent that's all so we use three system calls first one is f2k second one is message get third one is message send that's all this code is over now finally after sending the message and after the receiver has received it we can delete it with message control where i need to use ipc underscore rm id rm id is nothing but remove id or you can manually remove the q also this is preferable to add the code for the removal also in the main code itself now just to recap what did i do i just know that i need a q so i need to send a message for the first i need a key the key will be generated with f2k the next step is to generate a message id so how do you generate it through message get the third step is to send the message so for that i need to first get the message from the user so i will have a gets here and then i'll send the message the message is sent along with the message id and the address of the message which is something but a parameter or a component of a structure now i have sent it i need to delete it after sending it that is it the sending part is over the receiving part is very simple which you are going to see right now the code is different now you can see that here the receiving part is very very simple now i have got the same code there is no change up to this is the same i'm i'm scrolling just follow the same up to this is the same i have made no change here you can see that i am generating the key again that key is nothing but the one that i used to validate if the same file has been used at the sender end so it has to be message send dot c there it has to be message send dot c here as well now the key is generated now i need to check if the message id is properly generated again if message id equal to message get of key with the key reference i am getting the message id with the key reference i am generating the message id and it's again the same i did not do much of the changes here now i need to receive so i put an infinite loop here and i get into it i use a message receive how do i receive the message with reference of message id size of message ambassador message all these things are the parameters now i will print it on the screen that's it no difference other than the message receive being used instead of message sent we will now probably run it once to see if it is working fine i'll show you the way that we can run this code it is very simple so i have named the file as 3 underscore message send dot c and 3 underscore message receive dot c i'm going to just run it for you guys now please watch it carefully
Now please see it carefully. I have two files here, message send.c and message receive.c. I am going to have two terminals because one terminal will act as the sender, another terminal can act as a receiver. Right? So that's very simple. CD desktop, CD OS concepts, I have it there. LS. Now I am going to compile it. GCC hyphen O. Um, three underscore message send dot c i have i need to give the name of the file so snd for execution i have compiled it now i have got the snd ready which is nothing but the final executable file now i can go and compile the receiver file gcc hyphen o rcb three underscore message receive dot c dot slash rc now i am going to run dot slash send here so you can see that here before that i will clear the screen so that you can see it easily dot slash send the message id is zero so i am now typing it here now the receiver has to be ready so i run it here the receiver is also ready now whatever i type here in this screen that is moving should appear here on the left Sri Ram is typing code that's it whatever i have typed there is available here this is called message queue that's it it's a very simple code anybody can learn message queue and this is one of the most predominant ipc mechanisms used thank you folks hope you enjoyed